Hey friends, today we are hanging out in the Magic Kingdom and I am so excited. I've been cooped up in the house for the past couple of days and I wanted to get out and go explore the park a little bit and see if we could find any spooky snacks since we're getting close to Halloween. And then also I want to make a trip to Tom Sawyer's Island because uh, Disney announced that they're going to be closing it and I feel like I haven't been there for a long, long time and I figured I'd make a video and share my experiences with you. So we're going to ride some rides eat some food and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It's honestly such a beautiful day today in the Magic Kingdom considering the fact that we got hit with a hurricane yesterday and I think we're gonna take the ferry, take the ferry boat over to the Magic Kingdom. Yesterday was the brunt of the storm and luckily I wasn't affected But uh, some parts of Florida did get a lot of damage and my thoughts and prayers go out to anyone that was affected by it They even canceled Mickey's not so scary Halloween party last night and tonight is another party So that means it's gonna be probably a little bit busy and the park closes at 6 p.m So we only have like four hours here and uh, like I said, I'd rather just get out of the house Go get some fresh air some fresh Disney air and just like that, we have made it to the Magic Kingdom. I'm happy we got here before the party starts. Uh, I'm kind of a little sad. I wouldn't mind going to the party, but I think every single night is sold out this year so far. And honestly, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is starting to sell out too. It is so good to be getting out of the house. I've been sitting around all week like a sad potato because my family had to go home. They were down here uh, for three weeks and uh, they had to go back home and I kind of kind of got sad and uh, didn't want to go out to the parks because I was missing them, you know? And then we got hit with the hurricane. So it's uh, like I said, it's good to get out and come explore around the park. I was looking at purchasing Lightning Lane for today and I'm glad that I stopped because I accidentally hit the select all button and look at how much that would have cost me. $400. I would have bought Lightning Lane for 16 people. <laughs> We might not spend all day here at the Magic Kingdom because like I said, the park closes early, but I do want to ride Big Thunder Mountain and I wanted to get some of the spooky snacks, but a lot of them aren't available for non-party guests. I know they have the popcorn up front in the park that has like a special Halloween like popcorn, build your own popcorn, but I'll probably get that on the way out. So in the meantime, I think we'll just make our way uh, right on over to Frontierland. Pecos Bills has a brand new menu and they got rid of a lot of things that people love. The tacos are gone. I know they have some tamales now, but I figured I'd stop in and show you guys and maybe we'll get something. I briefly looked over the new menu and honestly, I don't know if there's anything that I'm going to eat there, but at least I want to show you. And uh, I think uh, right after that, we'll go over to Big Thunder Mountain. Pecos Bills is always one of my go-to spots, but today, hey, yo, what's going on? I love this shirt, man. Yeah, I, love yo. I love running into people wearing one of the Roosevelt shirts, and especially my shirt, and it was so cool. But as I was saying, Pecos Bills used to be like my go-to spot because they used to just get like, you know, chicken tacos, and it was really quick and fast and something different from, you know, the regular hamburgers and chicken nuggets. So uh, it's, it's kind of, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss the old menu, and I haven't even eaten there yet. They kind of switched it up to a create your own experience. And look, they got steamed tamale, Southwest Caesar salad, nacho bowl, rice bowl, and then you pick your protein. And honestly, like I said, I don't see anything I want to get. They got the uh, double chili con queso burger or the new grilled masa flatbread. Uh, I'm going to miss the tacos, but one thing I did notice, what about that sweet corn mousse right there? Look at that. Sweet corn, white chocolate, and raspberry powder. I think I'm going to try the sweet corn mousse. And here it is, the sweet corn mousse at Pecos Bills. This isn't a spooky uh, like Halloween treat. It's supposed to be like street corn. And look at how amazing. You can see the kernels on there. I kind of want to pick it up and eat it, but I'm sure it's going to fall apart. So we're going to dive right on. Oh, look at that. It literally, oh, I almost lost it. I almost lost my mousse, but it literally just falls right apart. That is so good. So like flavorful with the corn. I love this actually. I'm going in for a second bite. You can really taste the white chocolate too. Like this is so cool. Look at this. Isn't that so weird looking? But I love it. This is honestly one of the better treats I've had recently at the parks because it's so like unique. The weird thing is, is they add something in there for texture because I can taste the corn. Like, you know how you ever get like a corn kennel and it kind of like sticks around? I can taste it in there. I wonder what it is though. 
and the raspberry on top is supposed to be like the spices. So it's like really legit, like a very delicious dessert. I'm glad that we ended up getting this. I'm glad that we tried something from the new menu. A lot of the food, like I said, I really wasn't interested in. And you can customize it and probably get it, you know, how you like it, but that defeats the purpose of it. So I'll stick to my sweet corn mousse. And now I think we're gonna make our way over to Big Thunder Mountain, ride the wildest ride in the wilderness. Right now, the wait time is 30 minutes for Big Thunder, but they can see the queue is pretty empty up there. So I bet you it's gonna be a lot quicker than that. Look at this, there is nobody in queue over there, and they're not even using two lines here, they're only using one. Hey, how are ya? <laughs> we end up getting the front row. Oh. Let's remove them. <laughs> like showing off the cannon here and I think a bee just flew in my face Big Thunder Mountain was definitely the way to start the day. I feel like I do that a lot, but it's because it gets me, you know, hyped up. It gets me going. And I noticed that while I was walking over here, there was hardly anybody in line for Tom Sawyer's Island. So I think I might actually go over to Tom Sawyer's Island and uh, kind of run around and explore it before uh, it goes away eventually. I can't even tell you the last time I was actually on Tom Sawyer's Island. So I'm happy to take a little uh, boat ride over. To get over to Tom Sawyer's Island, you need to take a raft. It's kind of like a little ride, and it's a it's a nice little cozy raft ride. This is such a cozy little ride. And I can't believe how close we get to the water. I'm not too sure how many people fit on one raft, but it's definitely close to the water and you can feel it like sinking in as more people come in, but I'm sure it's all safe. <laughs> we have made it to the island and as soon as you get here, they have a little welcome sign. If you like dark caves, mystery mines, bottomless pits, and Zachary Binks <laughs> and big rocks, you have come to the best place I know. And if you don't like creepy old scary places, don't worry, Huck Finn and myself was plenty scared too. Huck was more scared than me. Tom, not Huck, <laughs> not Huck. <laughs> Like I said, I don't visit Tom Sawyer's Island that much, but what I'm gonna miss a lot is the visuals. Like when you first walk into Frontierland and you see Tom Sawyer Island and then the Liberty Bell, it's just such a beautiful layout. And honestly, I think it's like, it makes the park. I mean, Walt was big into motion in the park and seeing the Liberty Bell go round and round, hearing the whistle, stuff like that. That's what I'm gonna miss the most. 
now we're gonna go explore the island and it is pretty huge here's a map of it they've got everything from shaky bridges underground caves and I just like it I like I like that it's actually a quiet little spot away from all of the park even got a big windmill there you can go inside the windmill oh here's one of the caves I always like showing this because I think it's just so cool but you walk through these uh, mystery mines I have explored many old mines but this is the best ever I don't know how much you guys are gonna be able to see in here but it gets pretty dark and I'm always afraid I might run into somebody in here. <laughs> oh, the AC's pumping. Look at this. Oh boy. The lanterns are light the way. This is honestly a really good spot to come and get some AC. Oh boy. The, the, the ground's slanted. Whew. It's very difficult to walk in here. <laughs> I'm not even sure where I'm going. Oh. We made it. I knew you would. And we're right back at the start. I love exploring the caves, but I get a little scared because the ground starts slanting and you kind of walk like this. And uh, once you get out, you can go over some bridges and also a really beautiful view of the Haunted Mansion. Seriously, this island is huge and they're going to be putting a uh, cars attraction here But take a look at the haunted mansion from this viewpoint. I think that's just so awesome I love seeing it perched up on the hill like that and now I think uh, maybe we'll go we'll go across one of the shaky bridges here Look how empty this is big thunder mountain in the background We haven't even we're still on the main island here. This is the bridge that connects you to the other one we're right here and we want to go over here because this is where the fort fort langhorn is and uh, kind of just hang out there for a little bit i rather enjoy spontaneous trips to tom sawyer island it's kind of nice and relaxing over here hanging on the bridge oh look at this the bridge is shaking you can see big thunder mountain i can hear the train going by this is cozy. I'm going to miss this. All of it's going to be gone. And you're going to have like a uh, Radiator Springs attraction here, which is going to be a big e-ticket attraction. And like I said, I haven't been on this island in a year, but I bet you I'll probably ride the ride more than once. So uh, it's going to be sad to see it go. You guys got to let me know in the comments, though. Are you in favor of them removing Tom Sawyer's Island because you want to see more attractions in the land be utilized? Or are you more nostalgic and kind of wish that they would keep it the way that it is? You know, it's kind of interesting and it's really cool for everyone to go and actually read the comments and be able to gauge, like, you know, what everyone's thinking. And I always like to do it. So let me know in the comments. Are you a Tom Sawyer uh, Island fan or are you... Uh, indeed or looking for some change now we're coming up on fort langhorn this is such a cool little interactive area here you can actually go up to the top here they have stairs that take you up so you can go to the rifle roost the blacksmith over here maybe get some water oh they have restrooms over here i forgot about that restrooms in the rifle roost i wonder how far this goes up oh oh boy I'm going up. <laughs> I love stuff like this. Oh, you can go up even farther. Oh, wait, no, you can't. You can just hang out up here. Oh, they got guns up there, though. Look at that. I would assume if you just make a whole lap around the side here, you probably have a nice view of Big Thunder Mountain over there. This is so cozy up here, though. Haunted Mansion, I think, is somewhere over there. And I guess this is beyond Big Thunder over here. I'm pretty unpredictable when it comes to my videos. Like, I was gonna try to show some spooky, you know, treats, but here we are on Tom Sawyer's Island, and I'm happy about that. I kind of like it. I was wondering how we are able to get inside the fort so easily. It's because the guard here is uh, taking a nap. Sleeping on the job, are ya? They got chickens and horses in here. Look at that horse. I'm tempted to go down the escape tunnel. Watch your step. Oh boy. Yo, this is so cool. 
it's definitely very tight in here. I think my shoulders are pressed up against the walls on each side here. A little bit, but I got broad shoulders. <laughs> oh, I found a crack. I think this is the way. We made it. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. We were just up there. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. It's nice weather. Can't beat it. <laughs> How you doing? I was just hanging on the bridge, chilling and relaxing. What a view. Hi. <laughs> I think we spent enough time on Tom Sawyer's Island. Time to catch our raft back to mainland. There's two ways off this island. There's Tom and Huck's way, and then there's the other way. I feel like I gotta go Tom and Huck's way. The Barrel Bridge. Look at this. If you have a hard time walking, like my mom could never walk across this bridge. You literally, oh, <laughs> look at it. Oh boy. <laughs> this is hysterical walking across this. <laughs> I'll walk on this all day. <laughs> oh boy, I lost my shoe. <laughs> yeah, it's not that easy, wait, right? Wait, I gotta try to run. Hold on. You're gonna try to run? Try to run it? <laughs> oh boy. Go! Oh boy. All right, all right. He's going for it. I would never be able to do that. <laughs> I twist an ankle. I am happy that we got to hang out on Tom Sawyer's Island. I had a lot of fun and it was cool that I ran into someone else there because uh, we were going across the bridge and they were coming in my direction. You never know who you'll meet on an island, but now I think we're going to make our way up through Fantasyland and just do a big wrap around the Magic Kingdom onto Tomorrowland and uh, finish up back down on Main Street USA. It's always very crowded going through uh, Fantasyland, especially in between Peter Pan and It's a Small World. And the wait times are pretty high, like for a party night. Oh, well, It's a Small World is only 20 minutes. That's not too bad. Peter Pan's probably an hour, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's definitely an hour queue right there, especially when it's dripping out here. Let's see. Wait time. Oh, well, 50 minutes. 10 minutes less than I thought. Since we're back here in Fantasyland, I think we're gonna go ride the Little Mermaid. I haven't ridden it in probably a while, and it says it's only a 15 minute wait, but I've been noticing, I think it's because they canceled Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party last night, because everyone that went to the party, uh, they, I think, either got a refund or probably a day park hopper, uh, cause that's what they do when they uh, like have a cancellation. So a lot of people are probably coming back today that were here that couldn't go last night. Before we head on over to the Little Mermaid, I think I'm gonna stop into Gaston's and try the creme brulee croissant. I did not expect this creme brulee croissant to be so huge. Look at this. Oh wow, it looks so good. Baked in a buttery, flaky crust. You can feel the topness there, kind of like that creme brulee. So here we go, and I think there's vanilla custard inside. Wow. Seriously, no joke, this is so good. And honestly, I feel like we're just getting all A's today. First we had the uh, corn mousse and now a little creme brulee croissant. Creme brulee croissant. <laughs> now I don't know if this is a limited time item, but um, normally I come to get the cinnamon roll because it's so good. But if this is on the menu full time, I probably would come back and get it again. And I didn't even get to that like custard feeling like. I wish that a lot of like stuffed pastries, the custard would be in every single bite, but normally it's like right in the center there. Oh! <laughs> I suggest eating this croissant with a fork and knife though, because if you uh, grab it by your hands, you get that creme brulee all over. And it's actually a very sticky croissant, but it's so good because it's like sticky hard, you know? I really do love this. All right, enough of the creme brulee croissant business. I had to stop and eat it because I didn't want to drop my croissant. I don't want to drop my croissant. And now uh, onto the Little Mermaid. 
The Little Mermaid has one of the best queues. It's so cool because it has so many water features and uh, a lot of like uh, hidden details a lot of people don't know. I know they have the one Steamboat Willie rock over here, but I can never find it. I saw pictures of it, but it's hard to actually kind of put it together. And I know that a lot of the holes on the walls here make up a hidden Mickey there too. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what I'm talking about or any other cool uh, Little Mermaid uh, Easter eggs. Funny because Ariel is named after the Little Mermaid Ariel, and I don't think she likes this ride that much. You know, like I think we took it on her, we took her, we took her on it once, and uh, she just didn't seem that interested in it. And I'm like, oh, this is the ride. This is named after you. Well, at least we got to do two rides today, and that's not too bad considering we don't have a lot of time in the park. And we got to try some snacks and some treats, so I think we're going to start making our way down uh, Main Street, USA. Actually, I want to cut through Tomorrowland first. A quick swing into Star Traders to see some of the new merchandise. This is my store I always like to go to when I'm trying to find merchandise that sells out quickly. They always seem to have it over here. Oh, I kind of like this. Is this a sweater? Oh, nice material. Not even too sure how much this is. I, well, it's for women, but it's still a very nice, it's a nice shirt. And then they've got a uh, nice little Mickey pumpkin mug there. Ooh, some more Halloween stuff. I've seen all this before. Nothing new here, but like I said, you never know what you can find when you come into the stores. Even some Hocus Pocus coffee. Sanderson Sisters Brew. I didn't even know they did that. Over at Anti Gravities, they actually have a candy corn soft serve. But I think I've uh, filled up on all of my corn sweet treats for the day. But that does look interesting. And it's a butterscotch, butterscotch sweet corn soft serve with butterscotch shell and candy corn. Ah, maybe one day I'll come back and try it. Tron is actually doing standby lines now and the wait time is 75 minutes and it's crazy because I saw it past 100 minutes and uh, I'm not the biggest fan of boarding groups or virtual queues but I'm not the biggest fan of long lines either because I really wish I could go ride Tron right now but uh, waiting in line 75 minutes I would do it if I was on vacation but if I can just come back another day I would you know come back another day if I was down here on vacation you got to make every single moment count you know what I mean uh, but uh, I hope in eventually it does go down to the point that maybe we can get like a 20 30 minute wait one day that'd be nice holy moly though I guess all the people that weren't gonna wait for Tron decided to hop over to the people mover a lot of people over here oh there's the line back there starts there the people mover used to be not so popular but now it's one of the best rides in the park hey how are you now I think we're going to start making our way out of the park. I want to stop at the confectionery and see if they have any more spooky treats. We really haven't tried any spooky treats, just random treats that they had around the park. And uh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> For the most part, like I said, I just wanted to get out of the house and go walk around the Magic Kingdom today. So it doesn't really matter that I didn't get to do a lot of the spooky treats. We're still going to be rolling into October and I'll probably be back to Magic Kingdom before then. At least back before Halloween, you know? Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll stop into the confectionery. I'm hoping that they have like the, the special popcorn that I saw for Halloween only. Uh, like I said, most of the treats that they are doing this year is just for the party. So like when you come here during the day, there's not too much, not too many spooky treats for non-party guests. I always like walking through the stores because you can get some AC and, you know, a break from the heat. And whenever you come in here, it's such amazing AC. 
it's so pumping. They have these vents right above the hats. Oh yeah, right over here. I'm gonna show you my favorite little vent. There it is. Stand underneath that for a little bit. You'll cool off in no time. It's so good. Ooh, and I love this Haunted Mansion hat. Look at this. That's a fancy little hat. I'm bald. Oh wow, it is super busy here in the confectionery. I wonder if the line to get the popcorn is too long. I know that you can maybe order it here, but they still have to make it. I'll see what other things they have. Oh wow, look at this candy apple. Look at that candy apple, it has gummy lifesavers on it. And then they've got a Mickey spiderweb cookie over there. That looks pretty cool. And then a Mickey vanilla cupcake, a little pumpkin patch cupcake. That's awesome. I was going to get the popcorn, but the line to get the popcorn, because they make it, like build your own, uh, it was so long. So I just settled for a little spider web uh, cookie. And I think it's gonna make my fingers probably very purple. It's very soft. Look at the backside, look at that. So uh, might as well dive in. Normally these types of cookies are very cardboardish, like they're not very like soft, but this is delicious. I like it a lot and my hands are starting to turn purple. So it's very messy, you gotta be careful, but it's now after four o'clock and a lot of uh, the party guests are starting to come into the park. So it's starting to get very busy and uh, we only have an hour left. So I think I'm gonna head home and check on Gracie. Maybe might hop to Epcot or do something else. Uh, but uh, yeah, figured we'd just make it a call it a day here at Magic Kingdom. I, I honestly just wanted to come out and get out of the house. I was gonna show you some spooky snacks, but this is as far as we got. But we did go to Tom Sawyer's Island. Mm-hmm. As we're leaving, you can still see people starting to come in for the uh, Halloween party. And the express monorails backed up all the way. You know, instead of taking the express monorail right to TTC, I think I'm going to take the resort boat over to the Polynesian and just walk there. Because the Polynesian is right next to the Ticketed Transportation Center. And I think it might be a little bit quicker because once the, the, the regular day guests at, like end, the monorail gets backed up for a long time. And, you know, it's kind of a nice, cozy little ride. See if you have anything important you wish to keep, maybe a hat, some ears, a cell phone, a husband, anything like that. Please do not hold it over the side of the boat. If you do and you drop it, please let me know right away. I need a good laugh. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Welcome, wel welcome, 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 welcome aboard. For your safety, please remain seated. Keeping hands, arms, feet, and legs inside our boat at all times. And supervisors. I love the boat rides. <laughs> they feel nice. Am I the only one that thinks that? It smells delicious. I like the way you're thinking. That was such a nice boat ride. And now I just walk from the Poly straight to the TTC. And uh, then we'll go home and see little Gracie girl. There she is, the most beautiful dog on earth. Gracie girl, you want a treat? What are you doing? What are you doing? I am back home now. I was gonna stick around in the park for like that last hour, but I figured I'd just come home, hang out with Gracie for a little bit and go for a little walk. Like I said, I haven't been feeling the greatest about going to the parks or getting back to the park since my family left. It's hard to go from hanging out and, you know, going around, riding rides with, you know, the people you love most to going back to the park, just hanging out by yourself, you know? It makes you really kind of miss them more, but they'll be back down soon and I'll probably be back in the swing of things and feeling like my old self in no time until then you know like i said i got to go out today go to magic kingdom and now i uh, gotta give gracie girl a little treat gotta give gracie her treat <laughs> i don't have any more pup cakes for gracie but i do have some of the cookies so i'm gonna grab her a cookie out of my little favorite cookie jar and also i want to show you my kitchen my mom helped me set it up all nice and getting all ready for halloween Got some uh, Hocus Pocus towels there. My mom bought me this rug and I love it. I think it was called Ruggable or something like that, but I think it's just so good and it fits the kitchen well. And then she put out these nice little towels here. Hi, pumpkin. Hey, pumpkin. And Gracie's sitting there. You want this, Grace? Huh? You ready? Oh, look at her. Yeah, what? You like that? It's a good cookie. And with that, 
I think we are done here today. I had a lot of fun getting out of the house, going exploring Magic Kingdom and trying some of the treats. Honestly, between the creme brulee croissant and the uh, sweet corn mousse, I think we got some pretty good treats. And uh, like I said, I apologize for not posting any videos the past couple of days. I just needed some time to kind of miss my family and get back in the swing of things. But uh, I have a lot of fun adventures planned coming up. I know that I'm going to be coming to New York for New York Comic Con with Roosevelt. So if anybody's going to be at New York Comic Con, I'm going to actually be there doing a meet and greet for free, just hanging out. Uh, all you have to do is come by, I think, Saturday. I'm not too sure of the exact times, but I'll put a link in the description with all the uh, details and a couple other fun adventures that uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!